also I'm sure you recognise two familiar faces, Tanya from Pixie to Woo and Hi. Ingrid, obviously Miss Glamorazzi, she's in quite a few of my videos, <laughs> we tend to exchange um, and we are doing a video today telling you about our all time favourite makeup products. We were trying to think of something to do together, weren't we? And we couldn't yeah. quite decide and we thought this one might be good and I don't know. We thought it quite would be interesting yeah. because we do we all three of us do the monthly favourites videos, don't we? But um but sometimes they change and it's nice to know what people's all time staples are in their makeup yeah. bag. And we were kind of like I think we'd be interested to know what each other's were as well yeah. as we were talking about it. Yeah, we didn't this really discuss right. this, so we're gonna be kind surprised of... at each other's choices. Yeah. So we have our little bags of makeup here and we have a list. So first on the list is favourite foundation. Um I think it might not come <laughs> as a surprise. Ingrid and I have the same one. Dun da 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 same shade too. Although this is too light for me now yeah. because I've got a little bit tanned in the sunshine. Um I need to buy a darker one, but I'm kind of. I've never tried it. Chanel Vital Hair. You know, I've Aqua. never ever tried it. I thought you had it. No, I don't no. have it. She came in this morning, oh like asking me about it. You have to get it. What's your favorite? Foundation? My favorite foundation is the Gemma Kid Light as Air. Um, all time favorite. All time favorite. I've never tried it. It's absolutely. Amazing. I've got it on now. It's really similar consistency to the Chanel Aqua. Is it called Aqua Vitalumia? Vitalumia. Vitalumia Aqua. Vitalumia Aqua. Because it's really light in consistency, but really good coverage. I want to try this one now. Yeah, you well. have to, you have to try it. It's and it has SPF like 18, random. Yeah, but it's quite like it feels the same when you shake it. It sounds the same as the Chanel Does one. It? I was shaking. It sounds <laughs> she was the same. Like, like, um, like, okay, so number two is favorite concealer. What okay. do you think, Angrid? Um, Angrid. <laughs> Angrid. What do you think, Angrid? My name has changed. I have. Bobbi Brown's, this is a corrector, it's not really the concealer, that is brilliant, isn't but it? I love the corrector, I don't even wear concealer over this, mine is really dirty and really... What's the difference between the corrector and the concealer? This is That's like a, paint, a yeah, it's a salmon-y color, so it cancels out any purple or blue, and I don't even use like the concealer over, I usually just use this, this is in Light Fist, so use this every single day. And mine is a tie between the Sonia Kashuk yeah, and the Gender really Palette. Good. Who's that's the favorite allowed ties? I thought the rule we, was we, one. We, oh, have two, one. we have two oh, mascaras. But we have two mascaras, so this is allowed. <laughs> the allowed tie. It's allowed. So the Sonia Kashuk palette that I talk about all the time, I love this. And it has, this is technically like four concealers in well, three in a powder. I love that. And then the other one is the Laura Mercier um, camouflage one. This is in the undercover pot, but I think it's the same as the one that you get yeah. in the two, isn't it? It's yeah. the same. Um, so yeah, they're my two favorite concealers. And technically that's like five, but yeah. <laughs> you're such a cheat. <laughs> well, I like the ones where they have more than one colour so you can mix them. Yeah, so. my favourite concealer is MAC Studio Sculpt. I absolutely love this because it goes on like a gel. Have you tried this? Yeah, I've tried I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan. No, I that's wear it weird. every single day. I've never tried it. I can find I it's it? a bit kind of mm -hmm. sticky. It is kind of, but I really love it for under the eyes because I have quite bad under eye circles and it covers it amazingly. I've never tried it. Yeah, I like it. I don't use it on my face at all or it breaks me out. I only oh, use really? it under the eyes, yeah. What about for um, blemishes? What's your favourite? I don't really, if I get blemishes, they're never that bad that my foundation doesn't I don't cover get them. spots. Like, my, I just cover them with my foundation. Really? Yeah. Okay. I wish I could say yeah, that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. I should think we should skip to primer. I've put okay. mascara, but it feels like primer goes with concealer yeah. and stuff. So for face primer, I have Smashbox Photo Finish Light. This is the small like that little tube of it. And then it. for eye primer, this always gets dirty no matter what I do with it. Um, I have the NARS Pro Prime uh, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I really like this. I haven't this. heard that much about it. I, like, when they released that, I thought we were going to hear loads of stuff about it online, but not that many I people. really, really like it. I've been raving. My favourite face primer is the Laura Mercier one, which I love, and I don't use this all the time because it's kind of expensive. I tend to kind of, I'm using up what I have, and this is like my little one that I'm trying to save, but that's definitely my favourite because it's, I feel like it's more, my, more blah, blah, blah. I feel like it's more moisturising than other primers as well, rather than sometimes they're a little bit like... Greasy? No, not greasy, just like a bit kind of... Silicone? Drunk. Yeah. Because that's water-based, the Laura Mercier yeah. one, which is really nice. Yeah, I like. There you go. <laughs> Technical. And then the eye primer is my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which 
is has got absolutely what what is? <laughs> this isn't even that old i've had it for like a few months it's just been in my makeup what? bag and all the colors come off it's roughed up isn't that weird yeah, I don't, if I had to pick a primer, it would be the Laura Mercier one because it's incredible. But I personally don't use a primer because my makeup just doesn't budge. What about eye primer? I don't use that either. Do you not? Not at all. I find if I don't Can wear I eye primer, my eyes are like, <laughs> no spots. The makeup just stays on. Yeah, I've never used a primer. Should we just do like primer, really. a life swap? <laughs> yeah, I want to live in LA. Yeah, let's trade. Yeah. Can I come too? Yeah. <laughs> you can come and live in England. We did say that we wanted to do a YouTube beauty guru swap, like yeah. Wife Swap USA. Yes. Like swap live. Beauty Life Swap. That would be so awesome. Okay, moving on to the next way. thing as we're like chatting away about something random. Yeah. Bronzer. I have my NARS Laguna bronzer. I've gone through so many of these. This is huge but I really like this because it's good for my skin tone and it doesn't make me look orange and it has shimmer in it but it's not too shimmery so it kind of has like a satin finish yeah really like it my favorite would probably be benefit hula but I don't have it with me at the moment um, so I have a second favorite is that allowed again? I really love I this keep too. on doing two but these are kind of different as well the Chanel cream bronzer I don't own it. Yeah, you, you gave me that yeah. last year, and I really I love that during the summer. Yeah, in the summer, this is my favorite bronzer. In the winter, it Can makes me look it? really. It smells really good. Um, it smells kind of like peachy. It smells like perlume, yeah. Yeah, in the summer, I absolutely love this, but in the winter, it makes me look orange. So I think Benefit Hula as an overall would be my all time favorite, but I love this as well. Yeah. My favorite all time is the Dior. Well, I, don't, I always forget what it's called. Dior Matte Sunshine water resistant and color is like that it's completely matte and it feels like it feels really velvety similar to hula yeah. in their texture and i just really like it it looks like a really soft matte finish on your face which i really like like it blush um for blood it's from jouet this is the blossom blush which i've talked about before it's a peachy pink color but it's not as peachy as like NARS Gina or the Jouer Bloom blush. It has more pink in it. I think it just like- It's really wearable it's nice. that blush, yeah. isn't it? It's really and I think it's really nice for people who have like neutral or yellow undertones in their skin because it's warm, but it still has a little bit of pink in it. So it's not like orange on your face. Yeah. My favorite is NARS Deep Throat, which I'm a bit gutted I can't find. <laughs> and I, I gave it to yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I wore it, I think, yesterday. I wore it, and now I can't find it. So it's gone it's missing somewhere in my room, and I will find it. But that's my favorite, and I'm, <laughs> I'm really upset that I can't It's a find really it. pretty color. Yeah. It's pinky. I can't pick my favorite blush because I haven't bought my favorite blush with me. I bought MAC Warm Soul with me, which is, I do like it, but it's definitely not my all-time favourite. I guess what I wear all the time is MAC Well Dressed. <gasps> I, I love don't that have that. Oh I my love God, that. You would I love that. I yeah, wear I it all the time it. in so, the winter. That's next on my list, yeah, Well Dressed. My, my all-time favourite blush would have to be Well Dressed because I wear it all the time. Next on the list, <laughs> powder. Um, I know what this is going to be. <laughs> Dream it's, Matte! <laughs> it's always the same Maybelline Dream Matte powder. I've gone through, I don't even know how many of these. I haven't changed my powder in so long. Just Can I see it? Yeah, I just like it because it's good for my skin because I have really oily skin. And, I mean, if someone doesn't have oily skin, they probably won't like this if you have, like, really dark... It has a mirror, too. That's yeah, cool. a swirly mirror. But I just, I wear it every day. I use it to blot. I use it to set my makeup. So, this is the only thing I use and it doesn't break me out. I think me and Tanya might have the same one. What's yours? It's the Laura Mercier, the powder. Yeah, translucent. But I only have the one yeah. in the bottom of this because it lasts for so long. I've never needed to buy the big one. Isn't it a gorgeous powder though? It's and amazing. did you know that it suits every single skin tone? Even like Oprah Winfrey wears that powder. Really? really? Yeah. Just because it's totally, it's totally translucent. Some translucent it? powders will still look ashy on darker skin tones, but that one is incredible. So whatever your skin tone, wow. I would recommend the Laura Mercier translucent. Okay, next one, favorite lipstick. Okay, my lips. This was hard because it was between 
um, this and Max Cream oh, Cup, but I just decided to go with the YSL Rouge Volupt in color number two, Sensual Silk. Um, this that is what it looks gorgeous. like. They've brought out a new um, formulation like every those, day, haven't they? Like, the Rouge Volupt, some, so. some like shine or yeah. something. Um, this is just a nice everyday color for me, but I do have to put it on put it on lightly, otherwise it can make me look a bit dead. So I just kind of pat it into my lips. And the packaging is pretty too, so it's nice so to have it in your bag. It's nice in your handbag. Yeah. It I makes you feel nice like packaging. a big girl with this lipstick. Yeah. My all-time favorite lipstick is not one that I actually wear very much, but I it's like my favorite lips. I gravitate towards it whenever I see it, and it's Show Orchid. It's so pretty. It's just and it was so well. good on you too. Yeah, I just I'm not brave enough to wear it very often. But you wore it on New Year's. Yeah, I wore it on New Year's. It looks yeah. really good. I love that color too. Yeah. Especially with your it. hair color, I think it's so nice. Yeah, like, yeah I do. I love the color, but if I'm ever like going out, I probably would wear this color. But for day to day, I, you know, you it's a bit over the top. Yeah, yeah. going because to the it's so bright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's my favorite lipstick, even though I don't wear it. Yeah, that much. my favorite lipstick. Um, it's hard to put this in an all time because it's only been in like since this year, whereas all the others I've used for like over a year or something, but it definitely is my all time favourite now, and it's Tom Ford Pink Dusk, and this is the <gasps> colour, it's yeah. absolutely gorgeous, and I'm gonna get a bit closer. yeah you can. You have such gorgeous lips though, so anything you put on them is going to look Yeah, you have like Angelina Jolie <laughs> lips, it's gloss. Okay. okay. I've chosen a brand rather than a colour, is that a bad thing? I'm um, cheating at this game. Yeah, I think we'd allow you to cheat once or twice, but you're cheating quite a lot. I have. But it is your channel, so we <laughs> can't. Yeah. Oh, should I go? Yeah. Okay. Have we got this I have um, a Jouer mm -hmm. lip gloss in Wind, which is what I have on right now. That This is actually my favorite lip combination, this lipstick with this lip gloss. In Wind or Win? Wind. Wind. Like the wind below. Yes. Yeah. And like it's another kind of wind. Yeah, me and yeah. Pat instantly thought of the other type of wind. <laughs> oh. Oops, yeah, I guess that works too. Okay, so my favourite lip glosses are NARS. Yay! And out of NARS's lip glosses that I have, these are my two favourites. And I don't know if this one was limited edition super orgasm. That's mine! It's is that like yours as well? And we honestly, we didn't know that these were each other's favourites. This is my all time favourite. It's gloss. really good, isn't it? Because it doesn't like. It, for me, it's like the perfect, like, looks like my lip colour, the pink, but then it has shimmer, so it's like... The shimmer in it is absolutely gorgeous, like... Because I find the orgasm one is no, it's not as nice yeah. as this, but was this limited edition, the super oh, orgasm? It's out at the moment. Okay. I didn't, super I didn't orgasm, know. run and get it, guys. Go and get it. It's and amazing. the other one was limited edition. It's Nana or yeah, Nana. So I dark. bought it. it. Have you not seen this? Oh, I bought it because it. of Fleur. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. But it's quite, it's really sheer if you wear you it. Sheer it out yeah, like that. and it looks so nice. Mm. I love that. But NARS lip glosses in general, I just love the consistency. They are gorgeous. They're really nice. They don't go sticky on your lips either, do they? No, they're like the perfect, and they stay on for a long time, mm. but they're not, because I really like MAC ones because they stay on for ages, but they are really, really sticky. sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another one I was going to say, I'm cheating again. <laughs> The NARS, the NARS, the matte cream sheen glasses are also really nice, that's yeah. what I'm going to say, okay. Um, uh, mascara. Um, I have two mascaras because I use one on my top lashes and another one on my bottom lashes. See, there's actually you're cheating as well now. Yeah. yeah. So it's all right. So am I. Yeah. It's, it's acceptable now. Yeah. So I have, for my top lashes, this is Fairy Drop Scandal Queen. This is a Japanese brand, but it's now being sold at Sephora. And I've showed this before, it has kind of a crazy brush. It's like curved and mm. it looks like that. And then for my bottom lashes, I use the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Frame Plus Mascara because it's very, very... I have to use waterproof mascaras because my mascara just smudges all over the place. This is water resistant, so I like it because it washes off really easily but it stays on and then this one is just really waterproof which is why I wear it on my yeah. lower lashes. Yeah, my favourite <laughs> one I don't have because I'm trying to use up all the mascaras I have before buying it again is the YSL Faux Seal one. That is just amazing and I've used it since... I used it all the time between the ages of maybe 15 and 19 and then once I started YouTube 
Actually, I started YouTube just, well, after I was 21, so I probably use it for longer than that. Once I started YouTube, I started trying loads of different yes. mascaras, and now I have a load that I want to finish before I buy that one again. So, but that is still my favourite. But it dries out really quickly. Yeah, but it's, it's really nice. The effect though. that you get yeah. when it's new is just, it's amazing. I really I love I've it. the waterproof that, one. Yeah. Oh, I've used that mascara once. I put it on, and I was like, wow, this is amazing absolutely gorgeous and then I found out I was allergic to it sadly that sucks. really badly as well I couldn't open my eyes for like ages um but um yeah my I have two mascaras because one is like grids I have one for the top and one for the bottom my one for the top is bourgeois volumizer and it has a step one that's like yeah, the, the um is it wet? hot and naughty yeah it's, it's something this like is the mac one amazing the step one oh I can't put my hand behind it is like that and I can't really explain, it doesn't really do anything step one, it just separates. And then step two is super, super clumpy. And, um, but it doesn't make I your lashes try. clumpy. Is that new? I don't know how new it is, but it's absolutely incredible. I've been through two or three of them now, so it's obviously not that new. Mm, and my bottom that. lash I really one is Clinique. One. I was going to buy that one as a New York and I it's didn't for some reason. amazing. Else. Clinique bottom lash mascara. It's, the wand is adorable. <laughs> if a wand could be adorable. Food? It's, it is waterproof because, and that's the only thing I don't like about it. If, because I'm like Flair, I like to be able to not scrub up my eyes and just be able to get off my makeup so easily at night time. But then again, I don't want it to smudge throughout the day. And that's what's great about the bourgeois one, but this Clinique one can be difficult to get it's off. A bit of a pain. Yeah, but it is great for the bottom lashes. It doesn't smudge. Okay, so what's next? Eyeliner. Eyeliner. Okay, so oh, I have eyeliner. two eyeliners. Um, I have for a liquid eyeliner. I'm not, I wear pencil eyeliner but I really haven't found one that's like a favorite favorite because they all just smudge like crazy. <laughs> so um, I have a liquid eyeliner. This is the Dolly Wink liquid liner and um, it's just a felt tip liner like this. And I really like these Japanese liners because they're really sharp and precise. Not sharp as in they'll like stab your eye and hurt you, <laughs> but you just get a really nice crisp line and they're easy to use. And then for gel out. liner, mm -hmm. I like Bobbi Brown's Black Ink, and I like using this on my waterline or like my upper lash line just because it doesn't smudge and it stays on and you get a nice rich black color. Mine's the same for, for the, the top lashes. I still haven't tried that. I need Are to try it. Are you kidding me? Oh my yeah, god. it's such a good eyeliner. It, it's the best eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just I know, know it's on my list. Well it's dressed so and Bobbi Brown. I have two again but they're like you had two as well the rimmel flash eyeliner liquid eyeliner is just really easy because i'm not very good at liquid liner i don't really like doing it because i don't do it very often <laughs> and i just get in a mess so i like that because it's easy and quick and the bourgeois effect smoky ultra black one which is really smudgy but it's so black and super soft it's even softer than um you know the mac one smolder mm. is really soft this is like Softer, I think. Yeah, Smolder's changed colour as well now. Yeah, it's, it's gone it's green, 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 hasn't it? It's so not nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and my yeah. second eyeliner is um, Teddy by MAC. It used to be Coffee by MAC, but I've switched to Teddy because Teddy's a little bit softer, it has shimmer in it, and it's really pretty. Can I see that? Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about Teddy. I used Coffee by MAC every day for about <gasps> three years. It's like a bronze. It's beautiful. Because you can smudge it all underneath your eyes. Oh, I'm going to get that too. Yellow. We need to go to Mac. Let's go shopping now. <laughs> Mac's quite far away. Oh. <laughs> we can. We can. We can. Oh, actually, we can. Really? Well, we can go. We do... Let's talk about that after we finish. Okay. Can't we? okay we'll <laughs> Let's go to Mac. Okay, so the last thing is eyeshadow. And highlighter. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, so the second to the last thing is highlighter. I don't even know where my eyeshadow went. Okay, so for highlighter, I have Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I would say NARS Albatross, but I don't have that with me. So this is Soft and Gentle. It's really nice. I haven't ever tried that. Can I stick my hand in there? Hmm. That's what it looks like. I don't how, know if that's really How nice. similar is it to By Candlelight? Um, By Candlelight is a lot more Warmer, pink. Yeah, it? it has, like this comes off as more, I don't know, I feel like it has more gold in it when I put yeah. it on. Um, can't buy candlelight. It's very, very pink in comparison. And mine is Smooth Merge Mineralized Skin Finish. And this was limited edition 
two years ago, I think. You can get all that limited edition you can get at some... From where? If, like, eBay. They usually you bring it out again and stuff, stuff though, don't they? Yeah, Mac re-promote everything, so if you patiently just wait for it to come around. Yeah, I'm this still is waiting just, for them This to... is almost like um, a blush and a highlighter in one. So if I use kind of more of the middle bit, then it's more of a blush, but it's very shimmery. And then the lighter one just as a highlight. My highlighter is Dior Amber Diamond. <laughs> I talk about this in like every single video. It's so gorgeous and great. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so my favourite eyeshadow is Naked Lunch. Oh, I was going to say that as well. <laughs> you can have matching. Okay, so the same. our favourite eyeshadow <laughs> is Naked Lunch. She actually gave this to me. Is and it I the used same it one? Yeah. Oh, you've, yeah, you've had I've pants. used yeah. so much of it. It's great for like all over the lid and as a highlight and I just really like it. It's just such an easy color yeah. to use. The other one that I like, I really like Satin Taupe as well. Yeah, I love Satin Taupe. You got me into Naked Lunch watching your videos. For me? Or yeah, you? you did. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I'd never bought it before and then I got it yeah, it's nice, after isn't it? watching your videos. Do you have Mulch in that? No, I don't. Oh, because my top favorite eyeshadow is Mulch by MAC. I was hoping Fleur would have it because I don't actually have it with me because I just bought the Naked yeah. palette. Because I'm traveling, I didn't want to bring loads and those lashes yeah. away, so I yeah. just bought one Urban Decay Naked palette, but Mulch is my favorite. I don't have that either. We've got a long list of yes. things yeah. to MAC now. I know. So that is it for all of our favorites. Off to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Off to lunch. We live Good in the lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and my lovely guests. Yeah, um, I feel like we should hug at the end. I know. Bye! Bye! Bye.